Yeah. Your engine does still run, right? Uh, why do you say that? I'm not saying it won't, I'm just asking you why you think it would still run. Well, you need battery, you still need your battery too. So, what does the engine, once the engine's running, what does it use for, to create the spark? Getting confused by motorbikes with the magnetos. Um, <coughs> so it's yeah, generated so this magnetos, spark. right? Yeah. So this would generate its own spark, wouldn't it? it should. Yeah. That's what they tell me in the book, anyway. Yeah. So um, essentially, when the engine's running, it's a self-contained system. As long as we give it fuel, it's creating its own spark, and it's you know getting air from the outside. I guess the only thing would be fuel boost. So, well, I mean, it's going to draw fuel because it's, all, it's a mechanical fuel pump. So as long as the engine's running, it's pumping fuel. As long as the engine's running, it's creating spark. So essentially, it doesn't need electrical after it started. That's the theory anyway. Let's go ahead and test it. Okay. So what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do electrical fire in IMC. So that'll be turning off everything but BAT2, ALT2, and avionics. So go ahead and turn off all those switches. We're gonna so leave you're going to leave battery two, 2 on. All 2 and avionics. Yep. And then after that, we're, we'll do this first, and after that, we're going to shut all the switches off. And, yep. All right. So you can still see we have a ton of capability. We have our autopilot. We have our standby attitude. We do use the log. We uh, lose the yaw damper, but it's not a big deal. Autopilot's still working. We can still shoot approaches. We still have all of our engine data. So we've taken most of the systems offline, but we still have full capability, right. which is what you want in IMC, yep. right? So now let's see what we want to do in, uh, you know, if it's VFR like today and we have an electrical fire. So let's go ahead and turn the rest of the switches off. We're going to leave the keys on. We're just going to turn the switches off. So go avionics. Another question for you. Will this actually reset in flight? Will our avionics reset in flight? It should, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the nice thing about the Garmin is the Garmin will reset in flight. Uh, the Avidine system usually wouldn't. I've had a you know, fluke thing do it once or twice, but um, this will actually reset in flight. Fine. That makes it really nice. It's uh, interesting to do. I've never done that before. Yeah, most people haven't. You know, we always read in the book that, you know, oil will run without the switches, but nobody actually switches them off. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really good to, you know, you want to know what your airplane's capable of, and if you get in that situation, you want to feel comfortable, you know, getting rid of the electrical and just flying the airplane. Just wants us to keep our wings level, and we could. You don't have to do that. You can do turns and stuff. This is really good about resetting in flight. So even if you're banking, even if it's turbulent, the, uh, the perspective system is really good about resetting in flight.